Now for today's big story. As world leaders head home from Davos, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin is once again taking on a key issue, climate change. But he did tell the closing panel there that let's not call it that. Let's call it, quote, an environmental issue instead. He also brushed off the big concerns from Greta Thunberg, Larry Fink, and others about sustainability. We have Brian Chung joining us now. And Brian, when we, when we take a look at what Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said, he wanted to call it an environmental issue, wanted to distance himself from that climate change. What did you make of that? Well, this was an extension of what we heard uh, from his remarks yesterday where he was saying in response actually to a question from our own uh, Max Zahn in uh, mm -hmm. Yahoo Finance at the, out there in Davos where Steve Mnuchin said Greta Thunberg should go get an economics degree before she talks about some of these issues to which Greta Thunberg responded uh, with a tweet yesterday saying my gap year ends in August but it doesn't take a college degree in economics to understand uh, the her. impact of the carbon budget. Mm. So I think that this is just an extension. We know what the administration's position is on climate change. They haven't necessarily taking it up as much of an issue as the uh, Obama administration did. Uh, you know, they just seem to think it's not an issue. Not that they're denying that climate change is an issue. They just think that there are other things higher priority. That's what Steven Mnuchin was saying on the panel today, where he said, quote, I don't mean to minimize this issue referring to climate change, but he said, quote, there's lots of other issues we could talk about. The world is dependent upon having reasonable priced energy for the next 10 to 20 years. So it seems like the pricing of uh, fossil fuels, not the divestment of it, is a bigger priority for the Trump administration. Arguably, and I know you've been watching everything from Davos closely, uh, if not Greta herself, climate change as a topic has been, to me, the closest thing to a theme for this year. I mean, if there's been a unifying theme, CEOs discussing it, uh, Mark Benioff and others saying, you know, time to practice conscious capitalism. I Larry mean, they Fink's always letter, say things like right. that. Yes, Larry Fink's letter. But it does feel to me, maybe, now maybe in a year we'll be saying, no, it's this year, but it feels to me like maybe this year is a turning point where everyone is at least claiming that they want to prioritize climate change. Yeah, I mean, I was at the Davos conference last year, and uh, they did talk about climate change, but I didn't think it was as much of a, a adopted theme as it was universally in this year's Davos. And even in the conversations that we've, on the many interviews we've had here on Yahoo Finance, we had Denby Samoyo, who's a, a Zambian economist, and she was saying, look, I think that climate change is definitely an issue, but the suggestion to divest from fossil fuels, she, she called it naive because she thinks that those are the same companies. Now, again, she's a board member at Chevron, but she mm. thinks that those energy companies <laughs> the are the ones that could actually provide some sort of uh, discovery in terms of alternative energy sources. Now, Greta Thunberg in her speech on Tuesday, which really kicked everything off, she said when she called on companies to divest, she said, people will probably call me naive. So, mm. I mean, there's a lot of jostling around at, at, at Davos. A lot of people seem to acknowledge that climate change is an issue, but there's a lot of differing opinions over where the responsibility to address that actually lies. Well, and what's interesting, it's going to be um, just interesting, I guess, going forward, watching if there's other companies that also kind of take after what BlackRock just did and kind of shift their strategy and focus on ESG investing in terms of their pathway forward, because we talk about the younger generation, specifically millennials, and mm -hmm. a lot of millennials are very focused on this or very aware and they when, want when companies they're making their investment yeah, and, decisions. And there have been a number of companies that have said they want to go zero carbon or carbon neutral is the way that they mm -hmm. describe it. But Greta Thunberg, in her Tuesday speech, said that's not enough. Carbon neutral just implies that you're maintaining the status quo. Again, this is the framing that she was she was saying. Uh, she says that she wants companies to be ca like carbon negative, really, uh, actually divest entirely from the fossil fuel industry, um, basically pull money from any sort of extracting of fossil fuels and just cut the ties entirely. A lot of business leaders in Davos saying we don't think that's very realistic. Mm -hmm. Got to start somewhere, though. All right, Brian, thank you.